Stretching my ears was never something I meant to do on purpose. I kind of just started and then kept going. Um, I stretched my ears and I got to about, I'd say like a pencil size when I was 12. And then once I got into high school, it just took off. Uh, the surgery that I will be going through in a month, it's referred to as scalping the removal of certain portions of your skin and then reattachment. Morning, baby. Um, all I'm mainly doing right now is just moisturizing. Um, ears are a little dry in the morning. Give them a little bit of, a little bit of tug to get the blood flow going in your, in your lobes. I was about 11 or 12 when I started stretching my ears. Uh, I was about 14 or 13 years old when I first started stretching. In regards to scalping my ears, this whole section is what we plan to cut out to make them even bigger. And then this thinned out part will be cut out. And so these two portions will be reconnected. My earlobes are at three inches and millimeters, I believe that would be 76. I'm at four inches and it's 100 millimeters. When I was young, I, I thought an inch was big. I never thought I'd be at four inches. It never occurred to me that I'd go this far when I first started stretching. Good. It's really easy though. It's fine, it's just to see that it can go through. Okay, there you go. Is that R2D2? Yeah, R2D2. Look at that dang, it's hanging. You see that? Yeah, it's hanging. This is it. Mm -hmm. This is a new fashion. What is it? This is a new fashion. Mm, these are just old. That's a white taper. Super duper small. But it's there. And this is the smallest I remember having. That says 2014 on there. Dang. Little dot. Look at those eyebrows. <laughs> Isn't that a little cool? Um, in the early stages of stretching and looking at those photos, I was a completely different person. It's just interesting to see that that was my own little way of stepping out um, and doing something for myself, I suppose. We met during the pandemic 2020. Initially just speaking through, through Instagram, We've been together for a little over a year. Oh, there's a lot of negative judgment that comes from just looking like this. The bigger you go, definitely the more negative it is. At the end of the day, if you let someone like that get under your skin, you know, you're stooping to their level. So I have my four inch Delrins by Artifacto. These are my go-to daily. I take a little bit of the oil from Gage Gear, just apply just a little bit. And uh, you make sure you have no dry spots and it all feels good. I always get my jewelry made with really wide wearable space because my lobes are thick. If not, they kind of don't look right. And just, there's that one. They're a little oily right now. <laughs> Uh, so there's that, and there you go. So in this little box, it's kind of where I've kept all of, or a lot of my old jewelry. These are two inch uh, rose gold steel. These are glass that's 57 millimeters, ever so beautiful two inch rose quartz. So I have a lot of three inch pairs. Uh, this was a gift from Jen when I got past three inches. These are at three inches. Uh, resin and wood. These are three and a half. This is where I was gonna stop initially and I didn't end up stopping there. I think it's safe to say we're both really satisfied with our lobes and we've never let 
that or any negative judgment stop us from accomplishing what we wanted to do in life. We've always been able to move forward and it can only get better from here. It's a big part of our lives. It's a big part of who we are. I would go back and do it all the same. I, I'm in love with it, love it, and I have her because of it. Nothing I would change.